as the administrator of Everon. I, Václav Sliva, say that these people who talk about, send petitions to form a government independent of our American friends are blind and simply wrong. The NATO forces on our island are our guarantee of safety. We must not forget what happened ten years ago. That's why, to all those who wish to undermine our friendship with the Americans, I can only say, there will be no independent government. Our joint administration with NATO forces has brought our island safety and will continue to do so. Thank you. That is all. This is Radio EMK News and it's 9 o'clock. Ah, for fuck's sake. Здравствуй, Радован. Ты хочу встретиться? Да, Иван. Ты был прав по теме американцев. Слива был утром в радио. Он сказал, что никогда не будет независимого правительства на Эвероне. Значит, американцы сказали. Все знают, что Слива их собака. Это правда, Иван. И надо с этим что-то сделать. Мне не нужна твоя помощь. Нашло время заплатить мой долг, а? Да. Но не забывай, что этот остров сейчас тоже твой дом. Я знаю. И я люблю Эверон и Камилу. И я знаю, что надо решить проблемы наших гостей. Хорошо, я рад, что мы согласны. Radovan, you told me to come over the phone. Ah, Anton. Yes, as you can see, we are having a little meeting here with Bohuslav and Ivan. Ivan, I haven't heard of you before. Hello, I am Ivan Bobrov. Bobrov? Sounds a bit Russian. Anton, it's because Ivan is Russian. Former Soviet Spetsnaz, to be precise. What the fuck? How do you know him? It's a long and dramatic story. Ivan was part of Guba's forces back in 1985. While on Everon he made friends with a woman from Gravet named Camilla. When the Soviets were kicked off Everon he was left behind, so we hid at Camilla's place. I found him there a few days later with my squad, when we were looking for remaining Soviets. I was about to detain him, but he wanted to stay with Camilla. He said he was questioning Guba's often irrational orders and meant no harm to the people of Everon. He also confessed his love for Camilla right in front of me. 
After that she admitted to feeling the same way about him. I then told Ivan Guba was a traitor. He told me it confirmed his suspicions. After talking to both of them I let Ivan stay on Everon, under the condition I would watch him. During the next few months we became friends. Radovan, we fought the Russians together, and now you're telling me you made friends with one of them? Anton, calm down. I know how it sounds, but Ivan is a good guy. <sighs> if you say so. Anyway, what's this meeting about? Let's get to it. As we all know, our American friends treat Everon like an occupied territory. They are turning our home into a military base. Their puppet administrator Sliva will not even let the people of Everon form a government. And I think everybody here has had enough of this. So what do you propose? Simple. We kick them off our island by force. I have a plan. We will establish two camps, one in the north and one in the south of Everon. Bohuslav will start recruiting people who share our views about the Americans. In the meantime, Ivan will scout out US positions. And you, Anton, try to get that old T-55 going. After that, using weapons I hid back in 85, we will start attacking convoys and outposts. When we have enough supplies, we will attack US bases and try and steal some vehicles. And then we will begin an uprising on all of Everon. Although the Americans are well equipped, they won't be expecting such events. We will take them by surprise. If everything goes well, it should be over quite fast. Then we will fortify the island, in case they would want to return. Alright friends, if you have no questions, let's get to it. We have work to do. Fill it up full, man, like always. The station is empty. Fuel delivery will take some time. Shit, we'll be late. Hello, it's me, Marek. Ah, hello, friend. Let's get going, then. One, four, two. Oh, move to zero, nine, two. One, board car.
Zero, two, one. Roger. The camp is not far away, but we have to go on foot now. Oh, go to Hotel Delta 76. Fall back into formation! Fall back into formation! 